So I just picked up this uh, Western Digital external hard drive um, for my computer to store um, videos, photos, things of that nature on it. Um, this is the 12 terabyte uh, version. There's a 14 terabyte out there, and then there's, I believe, you know, smaller ones, four terabyte, eight terabyte, so on. Um, but this is, like I said, a 12 terabyte version. Um, you know, it's pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it. Um, takes the USB 3.0 port there and then the uh, a DC and uh, 12 volt. Um, other than that, not much going on in the back end. Just flip it over on the top. You can see the hard drive there on the top and then you got good inch or so of space, I guess, for airflow. Keep the thing cool while it's running. Um, it has a shiny, shiny case. It tracks fingerprints as you see on the on the side there. But other than that, it's got some weight to it. I don't know, maybe about a pound or two. Um, and it says easy store there on the front, on a, like a matte finish. Um, but anyways, let's go get this thing installed on my computer and see see how it performs. So actually, before I do that, let's take a look at the box. Um, so it says only at Best Buy. So I'm not sure if you get this uh, at Amazon or somewhere else. Um, desktop hard drive, USB 3.0. Just some software on it, AC adapter, and the quick guide. Um, I'm going to be installing this on the Windows 10. Looks like you can use uh, 8.12 if you need to. Also, downloadable to Mac OS, which I don't use. Um, flip it over again. So it looks like the instructions connect to your computer and then install the software. So let's go give that a try. Okay, so I just plugged in the Western Digital hard drive into the back of my computer and uh, Windows 10 recognized it right away. I didn't have to do anything extra, which was uh, pretty cool. But as you see here, um, Windows 10 recognizes 10.9 terabytes versus the advertised 12 terabytes but when you're dealing with hard drives, that, that's normal, getting the slightly under what's advertised. So right before I started this recording, I did a speed test on the Western Digital Drive um, using Crystal Disk Mark. And as you see here, the read speed came in at 202 megabytes a second, and the write speed came in at 203 megabytes a second. Um, those speeds are pretty typical for a 5400 RPM drive. Um, so I'm I'm satisfied with those results. But for those that are interest more interested in a like a real world example or test, I have three files here that I recorded some time ago. Um, they equal out to five and a five and a half gigabytes. Um, what I want to do is I want to take these three files and transfer them from my SSD to the Easy Store drive. I just want to see how fast five and a half gigabytes transfers over. So let's do that right now. Copy these over here. And then let's see how long these take. So it looks like we're transferring at about 200 megabytes a second, which is about what our results came up. So about 15 seconds, 10 seconds left. It's actually moving along pretty quickly. Okay, so to move about five and a half gigabytes of storage space, it takes uh, about 25 seconds or so, I would say, um, which I'm happy with. But I'd also like to mention um, how quiet this drive is, too. It's uh, sitting about, I don't know, one and a half, two feet away from me on my desk. And as I was transferring these three files, I couldn't hear it clicking or making any sorts of noises whatsoever. And as it's just sitting here now, it's, it's pretty much silent. You can't hear it. That was one of my concerns when I was picking this drive up, is hearing, clicking, and hard drive noises um, being an external drive like it is, but it, it's it's actually pretty silent. And even if I you know, put my head next to the, the drive itself, it's you can't really hear anything. Um, so if you're looking for a silent drive, external drive, this, this is definitely um, one to consider.